Did you know that just by using a simple note-taking app, you can be maximally productive? And in today's video, you will know how to use any note-taking app for maximum productivity using the seven-step blueprint. So our definition of productivity is getting more of what you want per unit of time. And it can be so hard first at knowing what we want now and in the future when we don't really have a handle on what's going on. But the best way to figure it out is to write your thoughts down. Write down moments you liked or were happy with or activities you found enjoyable, your passions and so forth. And more importantly, write down things that you don't like, that you don't want at all in your life experience. So now you can get some clarity once you explore a little bit more and a little bit more exactly what you want and not want and make sure to do more and more of the things you want. And by the way, it's so very that oh what's going on? Ah! Ooh, I'm okay. Okay, now we're in the real world. Now we need to take all the things that we wrote down to reality and it can be so overwhelming at first when you hear a lot of email notifications and everyone wants to pull your arm and stuff like that. It's, yeah, very chaotic. <laughs> so what you can do then is, aside from just writing down what you feel at any given point, to simply break down what you've written, what you want and so forth and see what is required to get there. You can have this one note for one particular activity in which you put in the links. You put in everything you researched, all the conversations you had, and can simply make progress from there. Okay, now we know what's required, but now we need to eliminate all distractions. You might believe that all these notifications are where the distraction lies, like the phone and computer or so, but according to this best-selling book, 90% of all distractions that we face are internal. They come from within us. But since you have this note-taking system figured out, you can apply the same action to your internal distractions. You can write down what's worse. You can write down every like discomfort that you have or so, so that you know more and more what is going on, so you don't feel like this cloud that is trying to move you in a direction you don't really want to do. And when it comes to things like focus and flow and being in the zone and stuff like that, it's better to think of it as a zero state, in which it naturally occurs once you fizzle out all these thoughts and all these things that you want to remember and so forth. But then we have the other kind of distractions, which are more shiny objects, also the opportunities to simply arise to make a quick buck from there and so forth, but distracts you from your long-term wants. And the secret is that once you know how it's going on in your life right now, once you know all the tasks, once you know the projects and so forth, it is much easier to say no flex the no muscle. Because otherwise you just say, my might, I might, I might, and then you don't do it, and everyone is angry and so forth, and then you burn out. So it's not really a good option here. But let's go deeper into this negative sensation thing, because this is where note-taking apps really stand out. You've probably heard about journaling and how ancient people all to the modern era has praised its value and so forth. Because by simply writing down what's going on, you get some distance from it. You realize that all this is just draining you at all times. You can simply see, okay, this is what's going on, and this is not me, and it's all good from there. At least I can handle it. And now comes the harsh truth, and it's that you have to repeat the whole thing in order to get what you want. Get in the reps, so to speak. And it can be so boring and so tedious, but thanks to progressing everything you do, tracking down the progress, you can treat it as a game a little bit. You can note down every insight you got from each specific day so you get this feeling of forward momentum and stuff like that. So now that the time has passed, you finally got the recognition you deserve and so forth, it's all about scaling yourself up. Now you want to apply this thing called leverage, which is the difference between what you get in and what you get out. Think of this lever thing. I don't know how to describe it. It looks pretty ridiculous. And note-taking apps can even help you with that. Not only to just write down the essential delegation list, but when it comes to other stuff, like for instance, there is a specific process that I want to get done. I can write it down there and then simply move over to someone else. And on some note-taking apps, you can even make your own websites called that. 
and website is code and anyone can click on it so therefore it's pretty much all leverage from there. Or you can do a side of a show up to you every single day. So you probably see now by just having this note taking practice and any app can be suited for this just by writing down what's going on, what you want, what you don't want and what you need to do in order to get what you want or not want, you can get so much more out of your current days, out of your current week, out of your current life in that matter and then have this amazing experience at this moment. That's something I really wanted to feel. To learn more on how to use your note-taking app, you can check out this video right here and always remember that you're the most amazing human being alive.